Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be making our own tic-tac-toe sort of travel game. Before we get to that though, thank you everyone for sending in pictures and videos of all the different things that they're working on. We love that you guys like the kits and that you like to share what you're doing with us. Please keep sending in your pictures and we'll share them in our future videos. All right. And now, what's in our kits? I'm very, I, I know what's in this kit this week this month so in the kit you've got two pieces of cardstock okay they've got different designs on them and the back side is white so if you want to even make two other versions of it okay you'll see why in a moment we've got this little bag it's like a little drawstring bag okay and then we've got these clear button looking stickers they're like rounded okay they are here it might be hard to see. There are clear stickers on here. Yes. What else will we need? You will probably want um, glue of some kind. We've got hot glue and glue sticks today. I think either one is going to work fine. You're going to want a pair of scissors, probably some markers, and then maybe just an extra piece of paper. But that's about it. We're ready. Let's begin. Step number one. Those little clear sticker dots that we have, these become our tic-tac-toe pieces, okay? And we've got enough here that you'll have five of each color or like design. So uh, if I wanna use the cardstock design that, that's there, go for it. If not, you could always use the, the white side of it. Just remember, just like any tic-tac-toe game, you have X's and O's, so you need two different markers or pieces so that you know which turn, you know, who's winning. So you can just peel them off, stick them right onto your cardstock design. The glue that I mentioned before is really only if you think that it's not going to stick very well. Um, if you want to just put a piece of glue on there, to make sure that it doesn't ever fall off, you can do that. We're just gonna go ahead and stick them on there today. So I'm gonna do five of one design, five of the other. And then once they're stuck onto that paper, I'm just gonna cut around them to cut all the excess off. Okay, so step two, I've gone ahead and laid out the pieces that I just made and cut out onto the bag, just to sort of get an idea of where they're going to fit. Um, and I'm doing that because the next step is to just draw our tic-tac-toe game board onto our bag. We're just going to use permanent markers today to draw it on. If you want to paint one on, if you want to use something fun like washi tape, you can do that too. The reason that I mentioned you might want some extra paper, and you can use your leftover cardstock too, I'm just going to slide that into the bag so that when I draw on it, it doesn't bleed through to the back side of it. There's mine. A little crooked. It's okay. It's fine. It's tic-tac-toe. Then, once you're all done, the cool thing about this is that it's like a little case for your pieces, so you won't lose anything. All there right. You, go. you ready to lose? Oh. Oh, different spot. Ugh. 